Hello dear students, in this lecture we will discuss M and blood group. Please refer Clug and Cummings for this topic where they have described different kinds of blood group like M and blood group, ABO blood group and Bombay, B, uh, Bombay type blood group in detail. We will discuss briefly what is M and blood group and also we will discuss a brief account of other blood groups in this video. So what is M and blood group? Uh, M and blood group is an example of codominance uh, like we have discussed in ABO blood group. So if two alleles of a single gene are responsible for producing two distinct and detectable gene products uh, this is called codominance and in such cases the joint expression of both alleles in heterozygote is called codominance. Uh, MN blood group in humans is an example of codominance and Carl La Landsteiner and Philip Levine discovered that a glycoprotein molecule which is found on the surface of RBCs acts as a native antigen which provides biochemical and immunological identity to individuals. So in human population there are two forms of this gly glycoprotein uh, called as M and N and an uh, individual if may uh, contain only M only N or both M and N. So the MN system of blood group is, is under the control of an autosomal gene and the autosomal gene is found on chromosome 4 which has two alleles LM and LN because they, uh, it is called LM and LN because it was discovered by Landsteiner. Since humans are deployed so there are three combinations possible with these two alleles and it, re it results in distinct blood type. So what you have to remember is that MN blood group is codominant with two alleles LM and, N and LN which are uh, both expressing simultaneously and that is why they are examples of codominance. For example, uh, when there are two alleles LM and LN, so uh, there are three genotypic combinations possible with these two alleles. First is when the blood group is M, it will have the genotype LM, LM. If the uh, blood group is N, it has genotype ln ln and if the blood group is mn it will have the genotype ln ln so if two persons having mn blood group they get married they may produce children uh, with these blood types which is shown in this cross 1 by 4 lm lm half lm ln and 1 by 4 ln ln so there is 25 percent probability of m blood group uh, 50 percent prob probability of mn blood group and 25 percent probability of ln blood group so this example is uh, example mn blood group is an example of codominance inheritance where there is distinct expression of both the gene products of or both the alleles LM and LN. So the products, both the products are uh, distinctly visible or, or phenotypically detectable and that is why uh, codominance is different from other modes of inheritance like incomplete dominance uh, where the heterozygotes express an intermediate or blended phenotype. So this was all about MN blood group. 
and this is nicely given in Clegg and Cummings so please refer to that now how MN blood group is different from ABO blood group we will just discuss briefly we have already discussed that MN blood group is example of codominance and ABO blood group is also an example of codominance but it is also example of multiple alleles let us discuss so ABO blood group is the case of multiple allele where there are uh, more than two alleles and ABO blood group has three alternative alleles of one gene so in such cases we say that they are example of uh, multiple alleles so ABO blood group is an example of multiple allele and this was also discovered by Carl Landsteiner uh, and the ABO system like MN blood type is characterized by the presence of antigens on the surface of RBCs but the antigens which are found on ABO blood group they are different from MN blood group these antigens are A and B antigens which are distinct from MN and and antigens why they are distinct because they are under the control of a different gene and this gene is located on chromosome 9 but as we have discussed the MN gene is located on chromosome 4 so both are autosomal gene expression but the gene for ML blood group is located on chromosome 4 and ABO blood group is located on chromosome 9. Now like in MN system uh, there are uh, the both A and B alleles are cono dominant and they are dominant over the uh, O allele. So one combination of allele in ABO system exhibits a co-dominant mode of inheritance for example here we can see that when the blood group is A what are the possible genotypes IAIA and IAIO if the blood group is B the possible genotypes are IBIB IBO if the blood group is AB both the alleles will express itself and it, the possible genotype is IAIB this is the only possible genotype and when the blood group is O, none of the antigens is expressed. So, uh, the possible genotype is IOIO and in these uh, genotypes, IA and IB alleles behave dominantly to the IO allele but co-dominantly to each other. So, this we have already discussed in ABO blood group in previous lecture so you have to remember that ABO blood group is an example of co-dominance as well as multiple alleles and it is different from MN blood group because the gene is located on chromosome 9 while in MN blood group the gene is located on chromosome 4 and both produce different antigens MN blood group produce M and N antigen, ABO blood group produce A and B antigen. So if you see what are A and B antigens, the biochemical basis of ABO blood group uh, is because of AB antigens which are actually the carbohydrate groups which are bound to uh, lipid molecules which are fatty acids which protrude from the membrane of the RBC so the specificity of the A and B antigen is based on the terminal sugar of the carbohydrate group so what does this mean that both A and B antigens are actually carbohydrate moieties and but they differ uh, depending upon the terminal sugar of the carbohydrate group so here in this picture which is from Clug and Cummings you see that 
uh, you see a presence of H substance. So what is this H substance? This is almost all the individuals have this H substance to which one or two terminal sugars are added and as shown in this figure 4 2 this H substance is composed of three sugar molecules galactose and acetyl glucosamine and fucose which are linked together when the I so this H substance is present in all the individuals but if the blood group is A the A allele is responsible for the production of an enzyme that can add the terminal sugar and acetyl glucosamine to the H substance and when this N acetyl glucosamine is added then it leads to the production of A antigen and when the H substance when uh, the if the blood group is B uh, so this allele is responsible for the addition of uh, not N acetyl glucosamine it cannot add N acetyl glucosamine but instead of that it adds galactose uh, galactose to H substance and when the galactose is added to the H substance it results in the formation of B antigen so what uh, but when the blood group is AB then either one or the other sugar at many substance uh, at many sites are available on the surface of the RBC so this is the biochemical basis of ABO blood group and but in uh, in the last blood group IO IO or O blood group they cannot add the terminal sugars to H substance and so they do not have any antigen so if you want to read in detail please read Clug and Cummings this picture and text is from Clug and Cummings so this was about A and B antigens which are present on uh, in ABO blood group now this is the last uh, special kind of blood group which we will discuss uh, if you want to read in detail please refer Clug and Cummings or any other book so Bombay phenotype uh, was a very unusual situation uh, which provided information uh, concerning the genetic basis of H substance which we have just discussed so there was a peculiar case in Bombay where a woman in Bombay displayed a unique genetic history that was inconsistent with her blood type so she was in need of transfusion and she was found to but and when the blood was tested uh, she had no a or b antigen and so she was designated as o blood group but when her pedigree was analyzed one of her parents was a b as you can see here in the pedigree and she was obviously the donor of uh, B allele to one of our offsprings. So the pedigree uh, showed that the B antigen must have come from mother. So she was genetically type B but functionally, functionally she was O. It means that although she has antigens of B present in her blood but sh uh, she was uh, functionally O uh, because because of absence of H antigen which was found later after detailed analysis of a blood group. So uh, if you want to study Bombay phenotype please read Clug and Cummings and this is the uh, this is beyond the scope of your uh, course so we will not discuss this in detail. This video lecture was about MN blood group and its comparison with the ABO blood group. So thank you students and let us meet in next lecture.